My basement's kind of a mess, but I decided I should give a tour of my current drum setup. I know it seems clunky, but it's very organized for me in the case of how the drums are. So start from left to right. So down here I have a cymbal stack. It's just two old crashes that are cracked above and then a crack, cracked crash that's been like inverted. I have a, I'm not sure what, but it's a 20 inch Zildjian ride. I got a bunch of stuff, it's a gift, so, like all the stuff. So. Down here I just have a Zildjian ZVT 20 inch ride. Here I have a Sabian Custom Shop 24 inch AA Metal China. Enough for the percussion stuff. I have an LP, I don't even know what this is. A jam block. It's hard to play standing up. Then the Pearl Tri Bell. There's a Pearl Cowbell. Yeah. And on my left hat to keep go like this. Yes, this is not supposed to be to play. I have the pedal like kind of modified, so just hitting like that. It's like my secondary controllable hi hat. There's just some old Zildjian K's also a gift, just like this board block. This crash is an AAX 15 inch studio crash, also is gifted. I, don't, I like how it sounds, but to be quiet for my taste. Again, it was free, so why would I say no? Some of a broken hi hat bottom, and then a Sabian BA, a broken Z ZBT bottom on the bottom, and then a Sabian BA bottom on top. This X hat. Yeah, starting, I guess I'll start cymbals. I'll go back to the other drums later. A Sabian six inch BA splash. Now do the drums too. So like my my drum shells are combined kits. So the main kit's a Pearl Expert, which is this kit of drum, this 13 inch tom, and this floor tom. And the rest is just like a kid's kit. These three are from a kid's kit, so. And this is the bass drum from that kid's kit. So I use as a gong drum. Yeah, I made like my own mount out of like a table thing. It does muffle a tiny bit, but a gong drum is very resonant anyway. Then I have the Remo Rototoms. Tuned high, like I have them modified to a bit of tuned higher a bit. Then as just to add an X, so it's like octobands, I added a, a, my PDP Mini Timbali. Over here, my one of my favorite drums, the man, probably my favorite on my kit, the Mangini Snare. And the Pearl Export Steel Snare. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention, this is a D drum. A reflex snare. So add the word steel and burn. If you want, I don't know the sizes of the drum shells other than the snares and other than the snares. So the drums, I do know the exact sizes of. This is 14 by 5 or 14 by 5 and a half. I forget which one. This is fifth. This is 14 by either 6 or 6.5. This is this is the reason why I love this. 10 by 6.2. Yeah, that's what they mean. Something to do with deep gold and bass show. I have no clue. As you can see, the main device is held up by a stick I don't use anymore. You know, the right hats, some reason there's like some kind of oil spill, which they can't locate. So for now, these symbols get kind of soaked, which I don't mind. It gives them like a dry sound. The Sabian B8 rock hats. Above it, I have an AA 8 inch rock drum slash. It's kind of tight right now. And it's just a broken symbols I use as a stack. Yeah, all my stacks are just like reused broken symbols. I have an AA 16 inch Bright Crash. An 18 inch XSR China. Sabian, of course. Pearl Tambourine, which, is, which broke a bit, but it still works. I rarely use that, but I do need it for some songs. 
Then my main hats, which are controlled by a pro remote hi-hat stand. A Sabian X set 20 14 inch hat. Here on my, my main ride is the Neil Peart signature Sabian Paragon ride, natural finish, because that's literally my favorite ride symbol. symbol on a repaired symbol that's the repaired symbol sounded like crap so I made it a stack. And down here is uh not sure this is one of the gifted crashes which is cracked so for now it's in a stack. On top of a cracked saving this one is the jazz crash which was just thin was just too thin so a crack so up here I have a Sabian 18 inch SR2 medium crash. Which now I know if SR2 I want to get heavy instead because that's actually medium thin. And then the excess R10 inch splash that I inverted. Like to make it a cup splash kind of. Thinking of actually switching to this with this and putting that here. Yeah, what am I forgetting? I feel like I'm forgetting sign. Oh yeah, the pedals. So over here it's still in a work in progress, but it's a trash can lid pedal. Right now it's kind of broken, but it uses a spare pearl double pedal. For my main bass drum, I have the Pearl just kind of sliding away. The Pearl Demon drives. And Pearl remote hi hat stand, sonar regular hi hat stand. As you can tell, I like play ambidextrous even though I'm right handed. Okay, for my sticks, I use the Mike Mangini Wicked Pistons from Vader, by Vader. And for mallets, I use the Vader, oh, the logo's not even on there anymore. The sizzle mallets, I just use them on like cymbals. They're really timpani mallets, but like stick hybrid, but I use them for cymbal rolls and the like, gong drum rolls. I have the Vader brushes, which I just use for quiet play. They're the whip tap or something. I'm not sure. I don't use brushes that often, so I'm a metal drummer. And these are just sticks I've taped. Other Vader sticks I've tried, but I like the Wicked Pistons the most. Here's a Simmons amp, which I just use when I'm recording covers. But from now on, I'm actually going to re make my covers be. Let's go, I'm going to like add the audio over and editing. And here's a, basically a flub drum because it used to be a snare, but I took it away for parts. So I choose it as a stand, which isn't doing a good job because things are falling. And I need to clean up down here. But yeah, that's my whole kit.